that's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes twinkle. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look. 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! Hey! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get it tonight? In this dirty collection. Oh! Need to be on that truck before it goes. Oh, you're Ganesh. How much for it, really? Not for sale. Money <laughs> come Excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Oh. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen. I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal. Good. Shit. Damn it. Sir, oh, wait. sir, oh, please. Oh, God. My dad, we were eating ice cream and I can't find him. I can't get home without him. It's okay. Thing. Here we go. It's just an active war 
on nothing you can't handle. Why are they still here? God, get out while you can. Move, 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 let's go! He's in here! What are you doing? Let's go, out! Move it! Shut up! He's lying. Get in the truck. Move it! Oh, no, man. I swear to you. I said get in the truck. Get out of here. Go on. Also, if he moves. Yes, I don't have yes sir. You. Hey, hold on. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey! Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Aravdazan. I'm in the middle of something. It's been dead. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Ends in an hour. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. Okay. Moving out tonight. Can't wait. Oh, Hi, the Great timing. No. South says one week. Another one. Yeah. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? Long enough. I've been with Asif since he was chasing down small trinkets all over India. Can't wait to join the real fight. This place is a shit. Lotus. Not what I was picturing. It was at least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. Oh, 
You're late, Fraser. Nice to see you too. Holy shit! They took out the first squad! What the hell was that? I thought you were a professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Hmm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor, balcony. All right. Let's do this. Had a street route all planned out. But they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Come on. I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. So bad? Now what? Patience. <clears throat> Up here. Really? Really. Just one more, darling. I'll take him out. No, I got it. Go for one to go for five. Go have activity. Over. Copy that, Cobra One. Shit. I... <coughs> Adequate work. Well, where to now? Up. Sorry about that. How about we avoid crates from now on? Okay, good deal. Up ahead. What was that? Shit. I swear I had some. <laughs> this will just take a moment. Oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. Crossed. It's like walking through an antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Hmm. Indian Christian. Is that it? No, just looking. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. 
Oh, horrible. Lots of curious cats here. Speaking of, good point. I'll just borrow this. Fraser. Mm hmm Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What does that mean? Western Ghats, Oysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. Shit. Time to go. Nadine Ross. What a pleasant surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You're too kind. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that Shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser, collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions. Three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out! Oh, after them! Oh, the window! Oh, now you're talking! Oh, Come on! We need to get across the river! Shoot 
It's this way! Messy but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess a leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! Come on! Right behind you! Get this now! Oh, this is dangerous! Jump! Oh, no! Ah. Got you! Thanks! Come on! Did you still have the disc? Yeah. Keep moving! Watch out! Oh, the love of God! Uh. I'm Don't make this hard! Damn it! <laughs> Last door! Bloody! Search hundreds of those! They run! going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The Tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesha's weapon. The... Bow and arrow was Parashuramas, and the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. He must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. Maybe there. 
here. This is a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is her sala? Hoy sala. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. <laughs> ah, right where I left it. Amazing landscape. on it. I'm fine, by the way. Want me to drop? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoy Salar exhibition. I've never even heard of the Hoy Salar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital for house and house, And then led the Persians right to their doorstep. And Nas? Oh, oh. Refreshing. <sighs> Could have warned me. Well, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No, not really. Boy, up the heck, slow down. Oh, look at this. Koisala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. What have we got? Halabadu and Valour. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Valour. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Mm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. I'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan, unless you brought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Right, that should no, do the brother. trick. Fraser, move, it's an ambush. Shit, take cover. Uh, thanks Stand for the heads up. Kick them out. Gotcha. Shave there. You're welcome. Okay, we're clear. Oh, 
Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. And there we go. Stop! A soft. Well, well spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We've got to take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Any word from Cobra One? Patience. They'll call those Mongols so they fix it. Heard one of them South African. Worked with the boss once. Happened before my time. The way he talks about her, his wife would not like it. I've seen her. Do you blame him? I suppose not. They say she's a formidable fighter. Don't be ridiculous. Shit! Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a soft is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Hey, hold on. Oh, shit. There's guys all over there. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh... Do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks. Not enough alcohol in the world. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone to keep watch for ourselves, forces. Good call. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Let's see what's behind the trident door. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last one. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. for a call button before climbing up. Well, was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? 
He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asar? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assad's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. <laughs> nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. It's That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. What is it? A shrine? Don't think so. Don't see any deities hanging about. Let's find a way up. Made it. Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysalar jigsaw puzzle? Sharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Teresa, mm -hmm. mm. right. look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go. Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. 
I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Hmm. Incredible. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know, but it looks as though we have two more symbols to find. Copy that. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Fine. I mean, don't drink it or anything. <laughs> right. No one. Oh, stop. You okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <gasps> oh shit, statue moved again. <sighs> Careful. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Nice to see you, Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Uh, 
Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. Well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other towns. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. Here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none about himself. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Oh, hold up. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. Right. Where were we? Oh, right. Usually. What about when you worked for a Saab? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. I thought there's... Might be more guys over there, yeah? That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Let's go find our giant water faucet. Sounds good. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> no, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Ah! 
Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? What are <laughs> the archaeological temples? Mm, big wheel thing works. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. I do. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Mm. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on. Let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. Holy dooly, that was a little hairy. You handed yourself on? What things are those? Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. You need to learn what short right. control first means. Not. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. Hey, if you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Here we go. Coming. Right behind you. <laughs> Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy.
You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. Last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. Come on. Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah, their work still stands, but they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. <laughs> yeah, I've got you. All right, I can manage. Just accept my help. Fine. Come on up! But only because you said, please! I didn't, actually. Once you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place him in your way if you think he'll benefit. That why the person I chose him for Halabadu? He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Is this really the only way across? No! Oh, yep! Have you fun out there? You know it. <coughs> Woo! Amazing. <laughs> They're doing great, China. Thanks. We'll be doing better when we get to the car. Surprised we haven't seen Saab yet. Knock on wood. Why he's around. Don't we see him up here? Why's that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Oh, 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 thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? 
Impressive. Yeah. Oh. Now, how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. <laughs> really? When are you going to be back here? Wow. <clears throat> nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Hara Sharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. <laughs> Ganesh isn't even armed. I guess it's not really his style. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Our moments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. This all Persian? Ah, uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Yeah, nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. Here we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Well, this device looks familiar. Huh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. Hush. It's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. There's shadows move to you. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. I 
I think that's it. We did it. Doors open. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh. Careful. Mm. Amazing. What the Shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no. No, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered, to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Razor! Oh. Oh. I'm okay! Go! I'm wrong, but wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well. Technically, I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. 
You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> You know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took right. it from that old man in the left. city. I take right. Dumb bastard. <laughs> Thanks for that. But I'll have it under control. Yeah, but I can't let you have all the fun. We're not in the line of fire. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. <laughs> Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Now, how the hell do we get out? Hear that? I do. <laughs> yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. <laughs> the Eye of Shiva. Impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. I probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus 
ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Make this quick. Swing in a bit. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. Wait. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king. Starting with you. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh... Can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? Good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. Let's get that thing open. Andy, Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. 
Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sav made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man, that's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. I better go after her. <laughs> Welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay, cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? This is your idea of an apology? Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority's the task. Not Sam Drake, and certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. I'll be there. Oh, wow. The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door.
Hey, 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 it's okay. She's stripped. But I don't think she's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy, girl. Shh, 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 it's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. to me or the elephant? Both? Easy. Easy. Easy does it. Okay then. Where's it taking us? Wherever it wants. Look, I, um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So, listen, Fraser, you don't have to... Ah! What's it doing? Charging, I think. Tell it to stop, because I speak elephant. What? She was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I got it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, hey? Okay. Deal. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. We've got a call for them. Right. Here, I'll take this one. Oh, okay, thanks. Move over a little? That's good. No. Reach that way and hold out your hand. What? Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. <laughs> Maybe it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Below. You know, 
it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asov. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? Dunno. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. It's a shame, in a way, that the lure's hidden from the world. Now we know why. It just keeps getting more and more spectacular. And in case there was any doubt this was Balur, Lord Shiva. First Nandi. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh, at least before he got his skeleton's head. Could be. Might also be Katakeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chased different paths. Damn it! They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. In here, Nadine. Tastes great. Hurry up. We need to catch up to the others. I see him. Okay. It's a big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bar? <laughs> or a well? Possibly both. <laughs> Bit deeper here. Look there, the queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Whoa. Fraser, over here. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Dad was here. 
<laughs> Something big, all right. Oh, why didn't that stupid bastard tell me? I said it yourself. He wanted to keep you safe. Asaf get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Is this place? A throne room, a place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. <sighs> I see stairs going up. Not there mostly for broken. I'll have to find another way up. Oh, shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Ah. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those crates around the chamber. <laughs> hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. Ah. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. <laughs> Just need to figure out what it is. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Did you see that? I'm standing right here. <laughs> I know. <sighs> no going back now. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Oh. oh. Wow, that's cool. I did. I'll be right down. We'll find out in a moment. Light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, 
guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit! <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, no! Was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? How is she doing here? You said find out, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh. oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up.
It appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our oh, way. On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Don't try anything stupid. <coughs> Shiva and Parashurama? Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet. Yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. He yielded. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. 
Just shoot us and get it over with. Right. As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! Smoking. <coughs> Don't. Think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did Asav get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Just overheard Asav talking about <coughs> heading to the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh. <clears throat> Back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Uh. 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 I saw we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. Right, 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 right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, okay. I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me. I can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoisala crap. Hoist the law. Yeah, the two. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I thought I was a goner. I wouldn't let that happen. Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. Found the train track. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the voice of our ruins. Sounds like that is British or Portuguese. Two hundreds are not quite modern. Circling. The salt is slipping. Let's try to keep it that way. No, Nadine. We're not on a first name basis. Okay, fine. 
I heard you worked for Bob too. How do you do? Yep. This way. Should have packed my machete. Uh, little help? No problem. Go ahead. You first. Much obliged. Wow. A detour. You coming? Uh, I would, but the bridge here is a little busted. So jump. <laughs> I'm flattered you think I'm capable of superhuman feats, but it's kind of far. Hey, this might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. <laughs> One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. <sighs> what is this? Light? Sure. There's only a few of them, we can probably... What? That Asaf guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure? What the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these hey, guys. Hey, Sam. Saying... Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and Shit. just... <gasps> she said she was cool! No. Whoa! Okay. I think that's the last of them. Nadine, can I have a word? What? Just following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone from Shoreline get the tusk. That RPG trashed the exit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. <sighs> you all right? Yeah. Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. Coming. Fraser, you go first. Thanks. How are you doing in there? Good. We're nearly to the rail yard. Shouldn't be long now. Necessary. Okay. Now then. Nearly to the rail yard. Ah, 
Besides, Ball, she's alive. <laughs> Nadine, she's over here. Well, you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Nadine, do you see where you are? <laughs> Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling. Jesus. Not hit me. Okay. Get up here. Go, go, go. Sam, hold on to that bar. I'm doing it. Oh, shit. Well, it looks sturdy enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard a soft talk about Shoreline? Swear to God. All I heard from this man was the Indian Army had cut off his supply chain and they were looking for outside help. <laughs> a soft must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shoreline's willing to take money from anyone. I mean... I forget it. It's true. Hey, you know, this might actually work. You know, you could help if you wanted. Nah, it's all right. What? Oh, shit! Look out! I didn't see that coming. Everyone all right? Fine. Uh, yeah. So much for our way up, though. Yeah, maybe there's a way through, though. Right. Can't stop now. A little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm 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 okay with this, sure. Ready when you are. <laughs> Have you ever noticed? Oh shit! Sorry! <laughs> Great. Any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Drake to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! <laughs> okay, Sam, what do you got? I have found a crate. Well, of course you did. Here, I'll push it down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. Oh, right. Good point. Uh... It's clear. Come on. Here, I got your rope. Thanks. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Uh, maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms, did We... <laughs> they didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's a solve. With... <sighs> Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. Right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We got a plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Safety's off, chappies. No word from our lookout, so we're on cleanup. Take extra care with Miss Ross. Roger that. Oh, great. The chopper's airborne. 
Profitable, for starters. I think that was a rhetorical question, love. I should have shot you back on that godforsaken island. I wish you had. It would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run. All right, you just hash your shit out on your own time, okay? Uh, Tusk, please. You two. Partners. <laughs> Either you've got a piss-poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owl's belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. Cat. Gun! Nice shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. All right. Hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting, Chloe, Cher. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. You hang on a goddamn second. It's a bomb. What? A Sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city, through the market. So we'll find the nearest town, notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame, but we did get what we came for. I'm... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. 
Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll, we'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What, you're not gonna leave me back there with her? Out! No! I call shotgun. <laughs> Fine. I'll sit in the back. What? Right, follow the bridge. <clears throat> Anyone see a road anywhere? I make my own roads. Well, keep your eyes on your road then. Hey, Sam! Did you want to drive? I mean, kind Too of... Too bad. Buckle up, Buttercup. He'll be all right. Didn't know you cared. Ah, he's got the task. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? Near the engine. Right, that's our next stop then. Let's try the other side. Whoa, easy now. Okay, good. Making progress. Out here! Oh, shit! Company's here! The soft spots. But we still have the element of surprise. Coming on the other side! 
But I want to shoot the big gun! Maybe next time. They won't let up! Sweeter, when we bollocks it all up. I think we're almost there. Why, Bud? Let me help. No, oh, this is really heavy. Go, I got it. Okay, your turn. Uh, oh, it's way bigger in person. It's military grade, all right. Here, help me. It's too heavy. You can't disarm it? It'd detonate if I tried. All right, plan B then. Let's get to the engine. You coming? Okay, you go. That's definitely the engine. We can slide this way. Come on. No. No, no, no. I welded it shut. Shit. Hey, roof hatch. Think about what you're doing. Just do it. Come on! Any luck? Oh, this one's welded shut too. There must be another way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all in. The switch! What? Up ahead, the switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train, buy us some time. All right, sounds good. Oh shit, the knee! Go! Just go! Get to the switch! Get off, Jan! Sam! Sam! Uh, where's Nadine? Back on the train. We have to flip the switch. We don't have time for this! Hey, jackasses! Can you give us a minute? We got this! That's it! We're clear! Alright, back to the switch! Push! Come on, come on, come on! That's it! I've got to get to her. Wait, 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 wait. You have to? I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. <laughs> Shit! Shit! God damn it, Go! I'll keep him the bench. Okay, 
Bridges or crossings? Well, shit. Can't believe that worked. Oh my god, the bridge. Shit. Shit. Myself a patient man, but you two are a special breed of mongrel. Good. I'm really going to enjoy this. Come, show me how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> You'd risk your lives. And for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. possibly stand to gain. Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb! I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg oh. me to save them. Sabine! Let's finish this. Show me how it's done. Come back! You'd risk your lives, and for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. Fight me! Take your shot! Don't you expect me to go to this is my land. What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb. I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg oh. me to save them. <laughs> Let's finish this. <laughs> Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now! Oh shit. And you? You could have done this. Go down! Gotta get up! Oh no! Oh no no no! I know you. You're no hero. My war will destabilize the government. 
The sheep will need their shepherd, and you will have died in vain. I will die a thousand deaths before I let you win. Oh shit! Friendly reminder, the bridge! Shut up and fight! Let's finish this! Go! <laughs> Everything! Everything! My cleansing would have been beautiful! Why didn't you just die? you guys get out of that? You know, I'm just still figuring that out myself. And, uh, Asav? I'm done with this train. Eh, well, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <sighs> Will you look at that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hmm. Yep. We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline, conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really? If anything, I was thinking I might give this uh, treasure hunting racket another go. I know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner. Right. Not you. Okay. Oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. You're f Ow! Okay. Jesus. That's my last cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh, how much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah, yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner. Elbow. Mm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> the Ministry of Culture. Oh my god, you're serious.
Huh? Just hear me out for a second. I, I, I understand taking the moral high ground, and that's great. It really is. I am completely on board for that. But if we could just... Don't ruin the moment. 